The Avengers, written and directed by Joss Whedon, starring Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Hemsworth, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, Tom Hiddleston, Stellan Skarsgård, Samuel L. Jackson, and Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, it was a big superhero team up, the sort of first test, first real test of how much of those individual, uh, how many of those individual characters can a single film fit, and damn if it didn't prove to be a monumental success. The story is quite simple. Loki, Thor's brother, um, strikes a deal with a sinister, mysterious alien force. If he can get to Earth and steal the Tesseract and open a portal with it, the Tesseract was the blue cube which was featured heavily in Captain America The First Avenger, he will in exchange get a powerful army of space invaders who will come through the portal, conquer the Earth and let Loki rule it. Of course the good guys can have none of that, uh, so Nick Fury restarts what was called the Avengers Initiative and brings together a group of remarkable people, um, superheroes, to stop Loki, uh, a group that eventually consists of Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow and Hawkeye. Now, I remember as the film was still in production, um, there was quite substantial doubt on the internet as to its success. People were worried if putting so many of the different characters, like it seemed like so many at the time, in one film uh, would even make sense. I mean, how does Captain America and Thor fighting side by side, you know, make sense? How, how is it possible for all those players to, to even get enough screen time to justify them being together? And crucially, how do you write a script they will ensure that they all have something to do, that the threat couldn't just be stopped by any one of them. Well, the film passed all those tests with flying colors and became, I think it's fair to say from the perspective of time, uh, a classic. A solid enough film to return to, but also, uh, more importantly, a blueprint for all the further evolution of Marvel movies. I think the primary reason why it works so well is it's incredibly smart about using existing elements of the world uh, established in prior films to build the narrative of this one. If you take a look at Justice League as a counterexample, okay, um, on the side of DC, that movie was a mess because it tried to tell like three different stories at the same time and it had to establish half of the characters as they have not appeared before. Avengers instead groups together characters that were previously quite well established, with the exception of maybe Hawkeye, but even he did show up in, in previous films. And the fil this film doesn't have to waste time setting them up from scratch here. Uh, we already know who they are, so just let's go with the new story. But this extends beyond just characters. If you think about the plot of the film, okay, all of the major elements have been introduced in other movies as well. Loki, the primary antagonist, comes from Thor. The Tesseract, which is the central object everybody is chasing around, was also the center of Captain America. And finally, S.H.I.E.L.D. and Nick Fury, the good guys around which the team is built, have been set up by the Iron Man movies. So now it's just a question of taking all these existing building blocks and just joining them together in, which, in ways that make sense, which the movie does quite successfully. Um, it has good action, fun script, excellent set pieces, Loki as the villain is properly charismatic, there's a lot of humor and um, the big sequences ensure that, ensure that each character is given something specific to do so that nobody feels completely wasted. Uh, revisiting it now, it, it surely isn't the perfect movie though. Um, there are a couple things that I think could have been improved upon. Um, the dialogue is very much in the style of Joss Whedon, which means it's, it is funny and witty, but all characters basically start sounding like Iron Man after a while with their quips and one-liners. Um, I'd also argue that this is the worst ever appearance of Captain America in the MCU, who I'm a big fan of. Not just because of the awful costume, but mainly because he's so poorly written. Um, he comes across as a massive jerk and an arrogant guy who argues with pretty much everyone, which is not the essence of the character, okay? As proven by the later films, which flipped my opinions of him, because after Avengers I wasn't a big fan. But turns out this is just how he was written. And as Joss Whedon himself admitted, uh, he's not a big fan of Captain America, the character, and he didn't have the best idea on how to write him. So that's basically a mishandling of the character by this particular filmmaker. I think you can also make a case that the pacing could be improved, especially in the second act, okay? Because at the end, there's the big battle, with, which works well. The opening act has all the character introductions, which are also done quite efficiently. And let me also point out, um, edited together in really smooth ways. The, transitionals the, tr the transitions between the scenes uh, in the early parts of the film feel really, really well done and smooth. But the middle part of the film, okay, 
that one drags a little. We have multiple scenes of characters just going from room to room and arguing and quipping and bad guys' plans are in motion, but not much is happening. If you're a fan of those characters, it's fine because you'll still enjoy those scenes anyway. But for someone who's more of an outsider, it can get a bit slow. But having said that, none of those criticisms really prevent the film from being an enjoyable watch. Um, to this day, it still remains an entertaining action movie. And it has certainly earned its place in history uh, of, of movie making as the first one to really successfully attempt to connect like what was previously considered several different franchises together. And, and Marvel continues to follow that successful formula to this day.